Hey everybody, welcome back to Sanic Adventure 2. In the last episode, we went ahead and just started up our Sanic Adventure in the hero side story. Uh, we ran from the cops, we got caught by the cops, we met Rouge, we looked for some emeralds, and now I believe we are starting off as Tails in this episode. So, let's go ahead and continue with our story. I'm Knuckles the Kid. But you can call me Knuckles once again. I forgot that when you when you start the game over again, it gives you a brief rundown of what's happened in the game and everything. So if my introduction was no good, then you get Knuckles to tell you all about it. So there you go. The music's still too loud that you can't even hear what he's saying. But at least it's in subtitles, so you can you can understand what he has to say. Oh, I'm just burping all over the place. I like how they put a big space between Batgirl, so they don't get sued by Warner Brothers or DC Comics. It's like you can't say that. It's Tails. I love his theme. I wanna fly. Dude, I remember getting the soundtrack when when this game was like still fairly new. Crazy fun soundtrack to listen to, man. It's like someone in like the sound booth would have been like, hey, turn down the volume a bit. They can't really hear the characters tap. No. <laughs> I have to save her because she's in danger. Not because she's a girl, but she's in danger. Subtext. It all means something. So I'm assuming now we're fighting the Eggman. So, that's a thing. Dude, these fights are so lame. Only because, like, when you have the laser out and everything like that, you just hear the... Uh, it makes you want to pull your hair out. Okay, just stop moving, Eggman. That's it. I'm gonna destroy you. God, it's it's so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> and this is without the upgrades and stuff like that. Like when it's the, when you actually have the upgrades and everything, just like that, you can seriously take down Eggman with like two shots. It's just it's ridiculous. This time I'll let you go, but this time I'll let you. Go. But the next time we meet, the you might not be so meet, lucky. You won't be so lucky. I like it. Again, know the lines word for word. Wow, Tails, you did it! But what are you doing here on this island? Sweet, sweet girl, so sweet. I love this part. This is like the most anime face right there with Tails. I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Anime pose. <laughs> No way to hide! Sweet girl, so sweet. Come on, Santa Land! It's like, I don't understand. It's like, Amy's not even playable in this game un unless you're playing the multiplayer, but they still gave her a new theme for this, for this game. There's no need for it. She's not playable. That's like giving, like, E-102 Gamma a theme in this game when he's not even in the game. He was... The robot in Sonic Adventure 1. Just for just to reiterate so people who don't know that. But yeah, these are the things about these missions that suck, man. It's like, do you like high-pitched squeaking squeaking beep noises? Great! That's what you're gonna hear 90% of the time you're playing a Tails mission and an Eggman mission, because this is what the like the laser sound makes. They could have made any other sound. I would have gone with like whoop, whoop, whoop. Just something like constant, not just beep. Sounds like the um, emergency broadcasting thing. You know, when you're like watching TV and there's this like, this is an emergency from the Mer Emergency Broadcasting Corporation. And then you just hear, and it's like, ah, I just want to watch Gilmore Girls. Ugh. And this is, that's the stuff you got to deal with, man. And it's kind of a bummer. It's a real bummer. But that's the, that's the rule of the trade, my friends. Good. Yeah, but the Tails missions are fairly easy. Personally, I kind of I kind of don't really care much for the Tails missions. 
Just because, like, the mech suit and everything like that is just like, eh. No. Now, the Tails missions in Sonic Adventure 1 were pretty good. Because, I mean, it's essentially just, like, get there before Sonic does. And it, it pretty much was the thing that most Sonic games need to have, I think. And that's, uh, going fast, you know? That's kind of like a thing in Sonic games. S speed is kind of necessary. And when they kind of take that away from you, it's like, hey, here, you can be in a mech suit now, and you can shoot and stuff. It's like, this. there's too many genres in this game. It should only have one. And that genre is go fast. That's it. He's like, you can't have a game with Sonic and you can't go fast? Are you insane? Do, uh, were, you, were you harmed as a child? Were you bo bonked on the head? We're just like, you know, Sonic games are fun, but you know what the fun parts are? When you don't get to run. And you don't get to run when you're in the mech suit. You move really slow. And you move very clunky, and it's, it's boring, and I don't like it. Like, the only reason I want to get past this is because I want to get to the Metal Harbor stage, because that's like one of the best levels in this game. But, it's just like, this level is so lame! Okay. It's just like, honestly, I would take, I would take the Big the Cat fishing missions over this. Like, like, no joke, super serious about that. Like, I would straight up take the Big the Cat fishing missions over this. Just because, you know? Just because I find them a lot more enjoyable. Even though they're broken as all heck, but it's still, it's still. Ah, oh, finally done. I did it. That that level took way too long. It took way too three minutes. I could have done two Sonic levels by then. All right, what did I get? I did it, Sonic. Sonic's not there, Tails. You're speaking to a uh, disembodied entity. You're weird. But he wants to make his best bud proud. And I can respect that. <laughs> Sonic's in the pen. He's doing time. Huh? Amy, You'll ride a die the chick. Down. Have no fear. Amy Rose is here. Amy Rose is here. Sonic says something a little kind of racist you down there. <laughs> a little hit right here. Well, if you gotta know. Gotta you love gotta them know. mouths not moving when they're supposed to. Of that fake hedgehog. Whoa. You mean that black hedgehog? Whoa. Did you hey, I don't like the way you said black. Now. Easy. If I tell ya, were you I thought all hedgehogs were the same. No way. I thought I had you this time. <laughs> God, man, she Sonic gave her no play. All right, thanks for letting me out. That now I gotta go fast. Came here with Dr. Eggman. So Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? <laughs> Unless there's Zippy lines saying, gotta go fast. I'm the fastest thing alive, and then he didn't write it. Alright, Sonic level, Sonic level. Do we get a Sonic level? Yes! Escape the military base. Oh, see, this is when the, this is when the game feels extra fun. You know why? Because you're going fast. That's the rule of the trade. You can't, you can't do Sonic and not go fast. It's not how it works. Because, like, I'll put it to you this way. Say you're playing, like, uh, uh, what's a, what's a good example? Say you're playing, like, a Mario game. Yeah, let's say you're playing a Mario game. And you can't jump. They, like, they've completely taken out his ability to jump. It's like, then you're gonna be like, well, this isn't a Mario game. How are you gonna have a Mario game without jumping in it? Our first upgrade! Light Shoes. Light dash to move at light speed along a path of rings. The action window will appear near the rings. Press the B button to get them. Again, probably one of, if not the coolest item in Sonic, right there. Just, like, I don't know why they did not continue to use it, man. The light speed dash is probably one of the coolest things in Sonic games. Just, so, like, because one, it's just something quick. It's something cool to look at, and you go fast. That's the key word in today's episode, kids. Fast. You can't roll around at the speed of sound when you move slow as molasses. That's just not how things work. But yeah, that loop right there, by the way, 
I think in every commercial for Sonic Adventure 2, was that loop was used. Like they used it in the Dreamcast commercials. They used it. In, I remember in the in the when they released this for the GameCube, they would show just like they'd be like Sonic Adventure 2, only on Nintendo GameCube, and I'm just like, oh! and then they showed that part with the loop, and I'm like, ooh. I'm going fast, I gotta get to the main one. I gotta do it, I gotta do it! Oh, no, I didn't do it in time! God dang it. I wasted a second. I got antsy, I can't help it. Because like, I don't think you get anything specifically different if you go that route, but I like going this route. Boom! There we go. I think it's more or less score-based for me. That's why I like doing that one. And plus, it just looks cool because Sonic's riding on a freaking rocket missile. It's like anime as heck, but it's not really anime. I don't know. Sonic's anime, right? I don't know. He's from Japan. And this is one of the hardest things to control in here because you can't hit anything. Unless you're pro status like me and you hit three things instead of just one. And there we go! Boom. Yes. Another level down, another two levels down. This game's just going by so quick, man. We really are rolling around at the speed of sound. But that's what you do in the world of Sonic, folks. You go fast. And you love it. I got an E-Ray. Ooh. It's probably because I died. But anyways, I think we'll call it here for this episode of Sonic Adventure 2. And in the next one, I think we're doing a Knuckles stage. So get ready for that. Uh, but until then, guys, this was Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, wait, no. We got boss. But you know what? No. Scratch that. We're not ending. We're not ending. We're keeping going. We're keeping going. Because I think after this, we do the jungle the jungle stage. All right, we're keeping it going. Scratch that. We're keep going. This episode might run a little longer, but hey. We, it was a Sonic. He's fighting Shadow. I'm cutting them off. They're cutting me off. Is this how, is how it goes? There's no time to play game. You won't even get the chance. Shut up, Shadow. You were cool, like, for, like, maybe the first time this game came out. But then after that, he was just like, ugh. Why is Big the Cat in there? Is this, like, a creepypasta? It's like, and Big the Cat showed up. No one knew why he was there, but he would show up. And then he was covered in blood. Ooh. Isn't that how creepypastas work? It's not a creepypasta unless something's covered in blood. At least that's how that's how it's normally. If I'm not mistaken. Do you know who I am? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Look it up on the internet. Just be careful when you do the Google search. Green Forest. Okay, we'll do Green Forest, then after Green Forest, we'll call it there. How about that? Get off the island before it blows up with you on it! Blows up! Dude, this is probably like my favorite song right here. The Green Forest stage is probably my favorite song in Sonic Adventure 2. Gotta get out of here! Find Amy and Tails! His eyes are clipping through his eyebrows. <laughs> Going fast! I, th I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's another upgrade in here. I don't know if it's the Mystic Melody or the Light Speed Dash. But I think, yeah, there's another upgrade in here. And if there is, we're going to go ahead and get it. Because that's what we're doing. We're going fast, because we're Sanic the Hedgehog. Dude, this game's so much fun, man. Like, I know some people give it a bad rap now, because, like, it hasn't aged well. It's not as good as it used to be. Well, you know what? I f Whoa. Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> the second I start singing this game's praise, I get all glitched out and then I can't see my body. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of people are just like, you know, it's not as God dang it. It's not as good as it was and everything. Well, of course things aren't going to be as amazing as they were the first time you played them. That's kind of the thing. Like, the first time is always the best time. Why? Because it's new. It's a different experience. It's something you're not used to. So, like, the first time you go through this level, the first time you hit those loops, the first time you do all that stuff, of course it's going to be different. Okay, that's not where the upgrades are. But, um, 
Yeah, so it's like, make it this way. It's like the first time you ate ice cream. Like, you remember the first time you ate ice cream? Ooh! Ancient Light. Light attack to defeat multiple enemies at light speed. Press the B button to charge up and then release and destroy nearby enemies. Sweet. But yeah, just like think of that the first time you ate ice cream. It was amazing. And you think nothing will ever nothing will ever equal that like feeling that you had when you first had it. And it's true. I mean you after a while you'll still enjoy it. Of course you will, that's normal. But uh nothing will really match up to that. You see what I'm saying? And it's just like, oh man, I thought there was an upgrade here. I think that's a shadow. But anyway, and that's how I feel about like certain games that you play. Because you go back and you play something like this, or like Mario 64, and yeah, you'll hit that nostalgia bump first thing. And you're just like, oh man, I remember it was so good. But then you try to look at it from like a more realistic like thing without the nostalgic, the snout without the nostalgia goggles on, and you realize this game is good. But it's not as, you know, godlike as I once thought it was, you know? Here we go. I feel like that's what a lot of people don't realize. Because, I mean, I'll admit that this game does have its flaws. But I have no problem singing its praise, you know, for what it was, what it did, and, you know, what it became. Because I'll be the first to tell you. Sonic Adventure 2. So, in the next one, guys, it's a Tales level. So, until then, this was Sonic Adventure 2. I've been Menchez. I love all your faces. I'll see you next time. Yeah,